here. Mike Tyson's in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This, feel, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much and he loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. The baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. All right, the UFC Hall of Famer, Khabib Nurmagomedov, getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Habib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's got a lot to say. <laughs> Habib Nurmagomedov set to fight Mike Tyson. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Iron Mike Tyson. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mimago Meta. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Mimago Meta figures to go to the top. Oh, he got a good too. Big right there. Side there by the champ. Nurmako Madoff's in half guard. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so he can try to get his chokes off or find great grounding pump. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Making all these shots count. Mm, that was nice. Oh, he's 
got a lot of different arm bars he can go to attacking here. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, oh somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Neon belly. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, he looked, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Got to be careful here. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Side control now. Nermago Medovs right back to the full mount. Trying for a submission now. This is tight. Just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. Oh, trying to pass here, but the Kembe Matumbo style, Block. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Working out of the half guard here. Side of closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Ref won't help you here. He says the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medov. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he's going to try to slam. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I am. <laughs> Keep watching. Keep moving. Nermanko Madoff's right back to the full mount here. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. <laughs> round two straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill, on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed Ready to, fight. to put his opponent down. Ready. All right, second round underway. You start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the U.S. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Probably my favorite takedown he got with the ankle pick. I mean, an ankle pick. He hit an ankle pick. You don't see it very often, but when it's done, 
just like Kel Sanders used to do to me all the time. Beautiful ankle pick. Hands up. Great timing on that double leg. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or a big ground and pop. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, man, that was slick. Tyson gets back up here. Right hook to the head. Right. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that it allows him to put forth this type of outfit. When his opponent is done at two, he is bringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having a fantastic partner. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by the way. Oh! Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Right now it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. And he's out again. Tyson gets back up. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the front. I mean, you don't get those opportunities. Big combination. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work. Submission attempts in bunches. Another one here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything wrong to allow for himself to get so. He engages in a single power tie here. Well, he doesn't need space. Beautiful connection there in the clinch. Oh, he got it. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown the tip after takedown the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. Ooh, that looks tight. Looks like he's getting tight. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Nurmago Medov's back in full now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Good kick. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build that fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Nice shots landing from the top position. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Now you gotta get back up. Scramble to get back Final up. seconds here of round two. All right, that's the end of the round. And Khabib's corner now will take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues.
All right, so Jarzinho Rosenstrike versus Alistair Overeem, it is not. But let us look back at some of the replays from that round because there's a cut on the lip now that he's got to deal with. Long as I ain't never got to see nothing like that again in my entire life, <laughs> I'm okay calling fights. And this cut is not that. But it was the perfect shot that landed in the right spot that opened up that cut on the lip. All right, so we will see if the cut man can do anything about that and for the fighter try to raise his guard and be more sound defensively in this next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps where the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, I think I can smell the... Oh! Huge right hand! Tyson's looking to go from the right full side. to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Lance with the ground and pound here. That is how you reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. He needs to shove the knee, hip heist, and get back up to your feet. And the fighters are inverted now. Oh, four attack. Yup. Oh, he's got the core position locked in now. Oh, the submission defense holds on and gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, he's got his back. Get the out here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nomago Meta. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Tyson's in half guard now. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Back to his feet. Oh, big left hook there. Let's go. Set up that. Oh! Yeah. That's it. Holy, Holy smokes. Stop. What an absolutely crazy knockout here. And that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on. One of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So, big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since crossing over from boxing, it has been all systems go for the former boxing champion, Iron Mike Tyson, showing you that the power definitely translates here to the octagon. You can argue this is his biggest UFC win to date.